which we were most hopeful about in Kismayo is that liberating Kismayo from al-Shabaab meant that al-Shabaab lost its biggest source of finances, charcoal exports. 40 to $70 million a year, we estimate, was being made by charcoal exports out of that port. Now they're going to dry up. Now they're in real trouble, right? Now, 40 to $70 million is actually a lot of cash. You don't just walk away from that. So it turns out that the Kenyan military and Ross Camboni militia figured out this was good business. They controlled the seaport. Al-Shabaab controls the hinterland where the charcoal is, so they collude. So they're working this out together. The charcoal exports are going out as much as before. Um, and these two sides that are supposed to be fighting each other are actually have been in business together.